Welcome back to my channel. So I've been getting a lot of requests for food and recipe videos. So I recorded my first one. It was actually really hard because I had one hand to work with. Um, and today I'm going to be sharing how to make carne con chile. So if you want to learn how to make it, please keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm starting by roasting some tomatoes and some tomatillos. I'm just getting them all roasted on all sides. I'm using some foil on my iron skillets and I'm going to cook these. I am going to cover them so that way they cook faster. I already have my beef sirloin chopped up in little pieces. Um, I just have it cooking in some olive oil uh, with some salt and pepper. Turn up the heat on this because I don't want it to dry out. What I want is to get this uh, cooked thoroughly and I like mine a little bit crispy. So that's what I'm going for here. So I turned off the meat and I filled these once more. I'm going to place just one clove of peel of garlic here and get that roasted as well. I don't know about you guys, but I barely have time to even cook black beans. So what I like to do is get the organic black beans. I like this brand. Um, also, I like the Rayleigh's brand. It's just the organic low sodium. I make sure that I get low sodium in either brand I have. Because if you look in the back, it only has a 130 compared to like 500. And then these here have 85. So this is a much better deal. After your tomatoes and the tomatillos and garlic are roasted, you throw them in the blender. Make sure you get all of that little burnt skin off because that's really going to give your sauce a roasted flavor. And then you're going to add a little dash of ground cumin. And of course, some salt. I'm going to use that same piece of oil to toast up some chile de apples. I like mine pretty spicy. So I've added um, quite a few here, so this is all on how much you would like. You want to be careful not to burn these because if you do, it'll give your sauce um, a very bitter taste. So just be careful, you kind of want them to look like this one here. If you think your sauce is too thick, um, you can add a little bit of water. I'm going to add um, just half a cup of water to this. You're going to turn the pan back up to low, low, medium, and add in our sauce. So I'm bringing this to a bowl, and this is where you want to taste to see if it needs more salt or if it's good to go. Just keep in mind the more you boil, the more moisture is going to lose. So you don't want to overdo it either. Done. This is exactly how I like mine. It looks so good. I can't wait. And I also have those black beans I showed you guys. Just heating them up. And I also need some white rice to go with them. 